Alright, we're gonna pick a harder puzzle. Alright, number four. I'm hoping this puzzle has sixes and alright, perfect it does. Six is on the edge, so I could easily fill that out first. This three is forced to put the last line outward. This five is on the edge. I could safely put one line in each direction. This three is in the corner. This three is in the corner. Another corner. This one is forced to put a line outward. This five is on an edge because I cannot go to the right side. This one is forced to go left. And this three is forced to go to the right. Right now I'm just looking for dead ends. This two cannot go in any direction except up. And this five, because the one bridge going down is completed, I can put the remaining two lines everywhere else. This two has nothing going upward, so it's forced to put both lines to the left. This three is forced to go left. This four is in a corner, so I could put two lines. This one is in a corner. If I put one line here, I create an island. This is wrong. So the one in the corner can go to the right. This four has two remaining options, so I could put one line in each direction until I can figure out where the second line goes. This one is forced to go up. This three is in the corner. This three is also in the corner. This two cannot go to the right anymore, so it's forced to go to the left. This two cannot go upward anymore, so it's forced to go down. This three is forced to go to the right. Okay, so with this three, if I force myself to put two lines here, it would create an island. Oh, also this would be wrong. So two is not a maximum. The maximum is one line. Because you could only have one line here, you could have the remaining line going upward. And the remaining line going upward is always going to be 100% true. But we do not know if this line can go to the left yet. So we'll just leave it alone. It's because the max could be 1 or 0. And the same rule applies to this 3. Going upward is a maximum of one line, forcing the remaining line to go to the right. And we don't know if going up can be one line or zero line. But our 100% guess, we are going to leave there. Oh yeah, this 6 is in its own edge, so I'm forced to put two lines going upward. This 2 is isolated, so I'm forced to put a line down. This 5 has a remaining line going upward. Alright, so 2 in the corner with the 1. The maximum number of lines you can have is 1 to the left. And because of that, you can always have the remaining line going upward, so we can safely put that line. And the 2 in the corner. We know the 2 cannot go downward twice. The maximum lines could be 1. So the remaining line can go to the left. And since this 3 is cut off from going downward, it's basically in its own corner. So I could put one line on each side. One cannot connect this way, so I'm forced to go downward. This one is forced to go to the side because it cannot go up, cannot go left, it cannot go down. This 3 is on its dead end, so it's forced to put a remaining line. Two in the corner. Remember the two in a corner with another two, you can, maximum is one line, but the other line is going to be 100% going to the left. And because this floor is now completed, we are forced to put the remaining line upward. This four can put the remaining line on each side. This one only has one direction. This two only has one direction. And this two has one direction. Oh, and this three is on a dead end, so we can just force these lines. Alright, so what I see here is if I put a line going upward, I create an island. Because if you follow this trail, it does not connect with the rest of the bridges. So this line is always wrong. Meaning you can always put the line outward. And this 3 is also forced to go to the other side. And you would also complete the puzzle.